It's going to be a very busy couple of days and really next five days ahead along the central Gulf Coast, and there's still a lot of uncertainties. That's the biggest thing. But what I can tell you is that instead of these two storms being at the same time making a landfall now, it is definitely a one two punch for the central Gulf Coast, and we still do not know the final track of either of these. We have a pretty good idea with Marco, but Laura, there's still a lot of time. We're not talking about landfall until we get into Wednesday evening, so that's several days now that we're still out from this and it could be a significant storm. So here is the latest tracking the tropics on the satellite imagery. Marco is a much smaller storm for that reason. It gets disrupted by wind shear a little bit more, but it has potential to reach hurricane status and it's very close to doing so in the Gulf of Mexico before it makes its landfall sometime late tomorrow. Laura, you notice it's right over Hispaniola right now. This is Puerto Rico right here. It's a much larger storm, and even though it is traveling over some mountainous terrain now, and it will do over Cuba, it has a lot more potential in the long run to continue strengthening and be, I think, a larger impact and a more significant impact coming right on the tails and the heels, rather, of Marco. So it's a one-two punch for the Central Gulf Coast. Marco's landfall will be Monday evening, Monday night. I'll show you the model on that. And then we have Laura's landfall when Wednesday night. Here is Tropical Storm Marco. Again, wind 70 miles per hour, very close to reaching hurricane status. Here is what it looks like as we get into Monday time frame. Okay, landfall somewhere in southeastern Louisiana. You notice they already have hurricane watches, tropical storm warnings up. It will move westward then, slowing down, but it will bring some torrential rain. Then for Tropical Storm Laura, although it's not very strong right now, once it hits those warm Gulf waters, this thing's going to explode and it will become a category two, if not a major hurricane before it makes a landfall. This cone of uncertainty could continue shifting. So Texas, Louisiana, even Mississippi only to be on guard for this one. And again, this one would come out about 48 hours after the first hurricane makes a landfall. It's really just unprecedented uh, at this point.